so this is a really weird confession, but I want to see if there's any context for people before you listen. One is, have you ever been accused of taking drugs, whether you were taking them or not? And once you've answered that, if you're still on here. Two, um, have you ever taken drugs and which kinds? And three, if you enjoyed them and you tell stories about them and try to find out more. Um, you know, like ayahuasca or these things, then go ahead and stay on. If not, you'd probably just be like, what the fuck? I don't want to have this conversation. Anyway, it didn't happen on drugs, but I did once fall in love with what they now have come to call limerence and it, you know, what might be between the dimensions. So on the one hand, we might call it imaginary friends when we're children, but when those children are like, no, they just taught me all this stuff and you told me it was real. Like the children that come in and remember the cities they were born in and before in past lives and the parents are like weird but they end up trusting them enough to go visit this sort of thing um and the kid turns out to be right anyway it's all very interesting and i had this limerent affair including like family like knowing these souls or something and um anyway today i'm thinking of this woman named ara and i do want to date her as a bro or a sister i love her and i miss her so anyway to shout out to family and limerents and the things that there's a, a tricycle leave it to those buddhists to try to bring context so the and the therapists the good therapists have given us a vocabulary around these things that, you know what some might say bringing you know health out of what could be craziness or what others might call a kundalini awakening without context you know giving us those with a vocabulary these beautiful therapists have helped us you know give these things a vocabulary which i think helps um I don't know, refine the edges and it isn't crazy. Many of these things like the Impressionists, that was crazy painting and now they're worth uh, more millions, you know, millions more than the Rembrandts um, that were also worth millions in the time even. It just, you know, it's interesting how expansion occurs. Um, and this is just a little weird shout out to that and I keep finding these little objects. So I like the one, a squirrel that ate a pine cone left. That's definitely a conspiracy. I'm kidding. I don't think it's a conspiracy. I think those squirrels are just well, maybe it is a conspiracy, and if it is, it's an Abraham kind of conspiracy. I think those squirrels left us these little nature treasures and this memory of these friends and family that feel like, you know, like God or finding heaven or those soul places where you knew, you know, not just you thought or you repeated a mantra, but you knew you were absolutely supported and loved by this universe. And I just want to show this happy little frog too. Anyway, those, those, the conspiracy is just joy. I think those squirrels are like Abraham. They're just living joy. I think this frog is too. I'm not sure if you can see that frog basking. You know, it is warm when you're not on a lily pad, but I think it's not jumping in every second because it's, it's like lovely in the breeze there, I bet. It's pretty lovely next to the pond. Anyway, to limerence and therapists who help us develop the vocabulary and people who give us art tools and things to move on from it and develop further things in soul family that are so much fun to me, even on the astral plane, which has rumors to be so awful. It isn't completely awful, but there are parts of it <laughs> that it's fun to find friends in, but where you're just even that much more grateful for these things. Shout out to Pachi Mama too. I can't remember what the epiphany was. So if we've given you this much recording and you stuck it out for three and a half minutes with Peter's mom and ramblings, um, you haven't gotten what you were expecting. Go listen to that Mark Manson. A few people talk about not giving a fuck and that's, you'll get some out of that. This is, this is not giving a fuck. I'm a frog trying to teach a person like ants spelling the words eat me in English when they don't even live it's not even England and the the ants literally spelled out the words eat me I mean what a weird thing to say for a group right I don't know it's like the antelope's right maybe <laughs> love love each other and um love yourself more and joy joy is the key I think it's a conspiracy that Abraham group and Louise and Esther, thank God for them and their their continual repetition. Yes, today. Today is Joy still the key? Today? Hey, hey, dragonfly? Yep, still the key today. What about tomorrow? Don't ask. Said Eckhart Tolle, etc. <laughs>